Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Boltbox Smart Asset Hydraulic Obstacles. This asset was created with no code using a bunch of pre written node assets that, when all connected, create this hydraulic like system. Before I begin, if you're making games using no code in the BuildBox software, be sure to like and subscribe as I'm going through all the smart assets, breaking them up, seeing how they work. If you understand how the nodes work, you can place them in and out in your game without any coding. This hydraulics is pretty cool. I've used it before, but it only works one way. If it closes, then it closes and it cannot open up. That being said, let's jump into it and take a look. Here we go. We got start. This object instantly has physics. These are the different objects. So there's a wall here, a wall here, and these cylinder pieces make up the pipes. And as you can see, there's five of these. Along with them, they have scale animations that happen when the asset wakes up. These turquoise nodes are all 3D models. Here, let's just grab that. You can see that these are all 3D models, and these 3D models make up the entire asset itself. Here you can see where they're scaled down, the location on the X, Y, Z access and definitely build the idea around creating an asset built with other objects and connecting the pieces almost kind of like a Lego something like that would create a surface like this and here's an example of it working you move here and then the player oh I have not set the collision to kill the player we will and then sphere we can just put if collide with the hydraulic obstacle at a delay grab an event observer go to game over it's not set up UI and then in this world UI add a game over call this one game over connect these all together go here add a navigation button which you can just have it set to restart the game and definitely want to put some text up here to let the player know that their game is over and like that game over let's go to the hydraulics cube so looking at how these scale i'm curious if we can move the objects to have them scaled back to the previous position so i'm going to duplicate this if i set all these back to zero if that I can have negative and then I'm gonna try to make this spin on to itself so that it can loop don't know if this will work but we will find out let's see cool okay so that one works which means these two will also work negative positive let's connect loop connect and then let's again have it here the move start negative 1.9 let's change that to a positive there's a positive 1.8 let's change it to a negative and loop these again done now here we're going to remove single launch and we should remove single launch for all of these this way everything should just loop Cool, but this is not what we use. The top one looks to be looping correctly and the other two, not so much. And not looping correctly, but close enough. Get rid of the scale, just within the position. So a lot going on with the scale. Well, that's not really working out the way that I wanted to. A lot of playing around. The last important piece I want to point out here is that this character cannot g go through this object without causing a collision to happen because the collision is already pre-built into this hydraulic obstacle. Even though the gate right now is open, this object is checking to see if anything touches it. And that is right here, this static cube collision Shape. If we wanted to add a mesh, we could, but you have to select the right object and it's using a cube. And that cube is existing right here. Oh, and it looks like I got rid of it, so. so now it's not there, so there's no detection happening. But if we move this mesh to cube, you can see that it gets detected. So explore, play around with this smart asset. There's a lot of ways you can use this to understand that if collide, then scale an animation, position an animation, and just making all kinds of objects move around in your 3D world. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.